Good, 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 good evening, this is Cab, here to drive you crazy, and welcome back to another edition of Cab's Drive-In Movie Review. This one is going to be kind of an older movie, but it was just recently released onto Netflix, so I finally got a chance to watch it. This is going to be the movie Don't Breathe 2. So, with some warnings that there will be a little bit of the talk about the first movie, as well as going into the spoilers of this movie, which will come in a later scene of this. This is a mullet style review so if you want to i leave the timestamp right now for you to jump straight into the spoiler talk if not you can listen into the review side of it or if not just play it all the way through it's very much appreciated as well as leaving a like on this video and a comment down below it helps push out this video gets me into the algorithm a little bit better and of course hitting my subscribe button for any more content that you would like from me later on into the future but with all that being said let's just jump straight into this movie review so Don't Breathe 2 is a little bit later after the Don't Breathe first original. It starts off with showing a burning building and a girl walking out into the street, collapsing out, and it fades out to black from there. It immediately shows eight years later and shows the girl a little bit more older being trained by the blind man who is now taking care of her and trying to keep her as safe as possible from this evil wicked world that he is trying to tell her to be but at the same time he's being still very secretive about it he doesn't really share too much there's only one person that he really tends to show any kind of care for which is the person who comes and provides him some stuff around for the house eventually he allows her to go out one time and somebody had notices her and starts to have a real keen eye on her after a news report is shown on the TV about a certain person who has escaped and tries to look for organs to be selling off on the black market. Ultimately, the person that sees her tries to follow her all the way through and eventually gets around to the old blind man's house. And sneak through the house noticing that the blind man is unable to see that they're even there and tries to find the girl unfortunately the girl ends up getting into a lot more trouble than expected and the blind man does everything that he can to try and make sure that he protects her as best as possible but the thing that comes very well around with this movie is how good of a twist there is to this movie, especially when it comes to wanting to say, am I willing to support the greater good? Am I looking to the chaotic evil? Am I neutral? Is there ever going to be a point where I could say, do I support the things that are being bad because of the message and the secret twist that comes around with it all? Do I want to believe that the secret twist that happens is good? for the girl or if even that the person the blind man is trying to defend them from is worth even supporting by this point because if this twist is true it almost seems like even though he's doing the better of trying to keep the girl safe is it even really worth it now all in all this movie is you know uh, r-rated movie language and violence is really the only thing about it the language you know a few f's and whatnot dropped every once in a while but the violence is definitely one of those things where it doesn't show a lot of gore but enough to where you can still like flinch and cringe at it because of this how unusual some of the stuff is and a lot of the uh, visuals on it is very minimal but enough to let you know okay that's what happened i do also believe that this movie has you know a really good back and forth from you know the, the secrets about it and the way that you want to feel about supporting the certain people who are doing the better versus the thing that you want to say is for the better knowing that if it is better could it be that it's not worth the trouble but ultimately i do believe that this movie has a great impact 
It is very well um, put together and one of the more better like um, horror movies that you could say because you know a lot of horror movies lately are more on like the psychological side of things. You know, it's not about the evil monsters that come out and can get you because a lot of people don't seem to be scared about those kind of things anymore. What really draws the attention lately is like the psychological stuff, the things that can actually happen in real life that can make you feel worried about your own personal self saying, could you imagine if something like this truly happened to me? And that's why for this movie, I will give it only a 7.5 out of 10. And my reasoning to that is because of this point right now, which is the spoiler talk. So welcome to the spoiler talk. This is going to be based off of some information from the first movie as well as what happened in this in the current movie. So, you know, from, from the first movie, right, you get to hear that this guy is, you know, blind and has such a good sense of hearing that they say it's even hard for you to breathe in the guy's house without him hearing you. And the one thing that really bothered me about it is simply because of the fact that he needs such more now to be able to do all those things that he did from before. Like, he had to, you know, use the jingling of the keys to be able to hear certain things, or he wasn't as, like, combatant of, of his senses versus his sight to be able to do what he needed to do in this fighting se uh, sequences. Now, the twist of it, of how it's the dad of Phoenix, or AKA um, Tara, that was kidnapped by the blind man after the house fire is definitely one of those things that you can go, wow, you know, do I actually want to support this blind man now? Because you know back from the first one that he was always trying to find a way to get a daughter. Whether it be kidnapping girls and keeping them locked up in a basement to be able to have a daughter with this person that they kidnapped versus now where this one is showing that he was the one who actually found this girl randomly out on the street coming out from a burning building passed out and decides to take her in and tries to convince her that she is now you know the daughter of the blind man and she's been helping him out and getting his training and felt truly protected and safe even though you could see in the movie that she really wanted to escape she wanted to break free from being you know always constantly under surveillance but obviously the reasoning behind it now was knowing that if the actual dad comes out and finds her that he would probably do whatever he could to be able to save her the violence parts of it where you get to see like how they blow up because of the electrical wire and the c2 uh, canisters c uh, yeah c2 canisters and you know, the, the death by the shovel, all those things that you can say is very minor, the part later on where you get to hear that they only wanted to bring the daughter back into the family after they finally got to the blind man, you know, burnt down his house, took away pretty much everything that he ever had to then see that, okay, well, there's the mom. So this is the mom and there's the dad. So this must be a good thing. Oh, wait a second. There are a bunch of druggies. There are a bunch of people who cook meth or, you know, all these, you know, drugs inside of a basement, right? Uh, we had a kitchen inside of our basement. Oh, immediately in my head. Okay, they're druggies. First thing that you see after, we need a heart. I was like, okay. Well, now we explained why that flash on the TV that talked about, you know, a uh, organ seller is out on the loose. Boom. 
it's all coming into full circle. But as soon as you, uh, like, even for me, it kind of became predictable after a certain point because you're like, okay, so they're needing an organ. You can see that the mom's not well. She's coughing up blood. And you feel bad, but at the same time, as soon as you hear all this, like they were nephews or, you know, drug addicts and made the products and all that kind of stuff, you're kind of starting to say, now, do I want to support the family who's, you know, taking back their daughter after being stolen? Or do I support the blind man who, you know, did initially kidnap her from the original family, but kept her protected and safe like an actual father would have? So, there is a big just pull and tug on this movie that I really enjoy. I do love how it all is, but again, like the keen senses of what it really was always about. Um, being able to, you know, figure out whether or not you want to support versus going for the, what I said, like the good of the greater good or the chaotic evil that comes around with it wanting to take out her heart to try and put it into the mommy's heart because she is the person that cooked all the math before and having this whole entire team who is basically just a bunch of drug addict uh, dealers try to find a way to make sure that their chef that cooks all of the drugs is able to survive and ultimately comes down to the final battle where everyone gets pretty much killed off you know it does leave the question, obviously, is the uh, blind man who killed everyone else and ultimately was stabbed and cut and left almost essentially for dead, going to be able to come back again? That is where I leave the question for you guys. Do you, since you got this far into the video and probably have seen all the spoilers to the movie now, do you believe that last scene at the very end sentence of the credits shows that he gets his fingers licked by the dog? Does he come back to life? Will there be a Don't Breathe 3? And with that being said, once again, I thank you very much for watching my review. Please leave a like on this video and please leave any comments down below that you wish to share about this video or about my commentating. And of course, I will always have my little subscription button right over here so that way you guys can get more content from me whenever I post a brand new video. Again, my name is Kev and I am here to drive you crazy. Aloha, God bless, and take care.